Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to see conditional statements like if, if else, if, else, if else with examples and how to use and what is the syntax for using all those things. So, we will see that. So, we are going to see conditional statement. In conditional statement, mainly we are going to see if and again if along with else and then if along with elif along with else. These three are the main conditional statements that we are going to cover today. So, first we will see what is if statement. So, the syntax goes like when you are having a condition, if a condition and then you have to specify a colon and followed by you have to give proper indentation and write the statements here and these represents inside if and when you are writing some statement parallel to the if, it represents outside if. So, this is how you have to write which means when you are having a condition you specify the condition if followed by a condition within a bracket and a colon is mandatory you have to specify the colon. Colon represents start of if block here if block getting started and then you have to give a proper spacing maybe one tab space or two white spaces or three white spaces whatever. If you are starting it with one white space, you have to follow the one white space for all the instructions that is present inside the if block. If you are starting the first instruction of, of the if block with one tab space, you have to follow the same procedure for all the instructions inside the if block. So, you have to start it with one tab space for all the instructions. So, when you are done with the if block and if you are trying to write some instructions outside the if block, Again, you have to start writing from the same line where you have started if. So, this represents when you are starting a line something here, this represents it is outside if and these instructions represent inside if. Let me write an example program for that so that you can understand it better. So, I am writing an example. So, I am writing it with like condition like if 10 greater than 3. So, 10 greater than 3 is the condition and always remember whenever you are having a condition in the if block, it will give you the result either true or false. So, if it is true, the if block will get executed. If it is false, you are going to skip the if block and you are going to continue with the next instruction outside the if block. So, let me write a program. So, I have given if is a keyword for conditional statement. I have given a condition 10 greater than 3 and I have given colon and I am giving a proper white space for example take it as one tab space print I am writing it as inside if inside if and also additionally I am writing another print statement 10 is greater than 3. So, here you could see I have given a proper white spacing. So, this represents inside if. Suppose if I want to write an instruction outside if, I have done with my if block, so I have to continue writing my program outside the if block. In that case, I am going to write print, I am giving a print statement for better understanding, print I am outside if. Now, can you see for all the instructions that is present inside if block, I have given a proper spacing and all the lines should have the should start with start at the same point inside the if block and if I am coming outside the if block again I have to start where I have started the if block at the same line. So, this is how you have to write it. So, in this case when you are executing this particular program here it will check whether 10 is greater than 3. Yes, 10 is a number integer number that is greater than 3. It is true. So, it gives you true. So, it will get inside and it will print inside if so, output of this program will be like, output will be like, since this is true, I am getting inside and I am printing inside if, so I am printing inside if and the next line printing 10 greater than 3. 
and I have done with the if block, I am coming out of the if block and I am printing outside if. So this is how your if block works. So if block should have a condition that, that will be either true or false. If the condition is true, you will get inside the if block, you will execute all the instructions present inside the if block. And if the condition is false, straight away you will skip, skip the if block and you will come out of the if block. So let me see some more examples on this. So uh, take a uh, uh, program like having uh, if with multiple conditions like I am having a is equal to 23 and I am checking whether if a is greater than 20. If you are having multiple conditions, you have to use logical connectors like and or not that we have seen in the types of operators in the previous video lectures. So a greater than 20 or a is greater than 30. So I am giving two conditions here and I am giving a colon and printing a is greater than 20 or a is greater than 30. I am giving a random uh, uh, understandable messages inside the if block. So this is how I have written. So when you are executing this particular code snippet, okay, a value is 23. I will be checking like whether a 23 is greater than 20. Yes, it is true. And 23 is greater than 30. No, it is false. So I am giving it here it as false. So for your logical connectors, when true or false, your result will be true. So this total result will be true. So you are getting inside the if block. So you will get the output like a is greater than 20 or a is greater than 30. So this is how it works with multiple conditions. So you can have multiple conditions with and or and not. Let me take another example using or and for example a greater than 0 and a is greater than 20. So in this case, a value is 23, 23 greater than 0, true, 23 greater than 20, it is true. So both the case is true, so it will get inside the if block. So both the conditions are true. Suppose, so since both the conditions are true, true and true is true. Suppose if I am having another program like a greater than 0 and a is greater than 30, and I am having some random print statement or whatever statement inside the if block. Now a value is 23. I am checking 23 greater than 0. Yes, it is true. 23 greater than 30, it is false. So in this case, true and false, you will get the result as false. So when you are having single condition, you should check whether the single condition is true or false. If it is true, execute the if block. If it is false, skip the if block. But when you are having an if block with multiple conditions with logical connectors like and or not, you have to remember the truth table that we have seen in types of operators and logical operator. And based on the truth table, you have to calculate. For example, in this case, you are having logical connector or with true or false. In this case, the result will be true. Here, with logical connector and, both the values are true. So true and true, the result will be true. In this case, the logical connector is AND and the results, sub results are true and false. So obviously your result will be false. In this case, the if block will not get executed. So you will straight away skip the if block and you will get out of the if block and you will get executing the instructions after the if block, immediately after the if block. So this is how your if block works. And another important thing uh, in writing multiple conditions in using if block or whatever uh, loops we can see also multiple conditions in using while loops we can see that later but whenever you are having multiple conditions in loops or if blocks remember that if you are having a condition if condition 1 and condition 2 if this is the case if this is false your entire result will be false and if this is true you will go and check the next condition which means for example if a is greater than 0 and 
a is greater than 30. This is the case. Consider this is the case. And initially a value is 23. The same case. So first a is greater than 23. Sorry. Uh, 23 is greater than 0. Yes, it is true. Only if this is true, it will go and check the remaining condition because the logical connector is and. Suppose if I am having a value as minus 23, I am having a value as minus 23. Minus 23 greater than 0 is false. Minus 23 greater than 0 is false. Since it is a negative number, it will not be greater than 0. So, minus 23 greater than 0 is false. So, obviously, since you are using the logical connector and even though the second condition is true or false, your result will be false. For example, false and true will be false. False and false will also be false, which means if the first condition is false, irrespective of the result of the second condition, the entire result will be false. So, if that is the case, it will not check the second condition's result, which means if the first condition is false and if the logical connector is and, I won't check the remaining conditions. I will straight away declare the result as false. I will repeat it again. If you are having multiple conditions in if block, if you are using the logical connector and, if the first condition gives you the result as false, I will not go and check the second condition because irrespective of the result of the second condition, my entire result will be false. Suppose if my first condition is true and then I have to definitely check the second condition because true and true will be true, true and false will be false. So in this case, the result depends upon the second condition. So if the first condition is true, it is uh, obvious that I have to check the second condition because the entire result depends upon the result of the second condition. But if, the, if my first condition is false, I doesn't want to worry about the second condition's result. I can straight away declare that as false. So this is one special condition available when you are using multiple conditions in if, when you are using logical connector and. So I hope you understand this. In a similar way, when you are using logical connector or, for example, a value is 23, if a is greater than 0 or a is greater than 30. If this is the case, I can say 23 is greater than 0 is true or 23 is greater than 30 is false. So true or false, your result will be true. So in this case, the first condition is true. If the second condition is either true or false, your result will be true, which means in logical connector R, when you are checking the first condition, if the first condition is true, I can straight away declare the result as true. I doesn't want to check the second condition whether it is true or false. So because whether the second condition is true or it may be false, since the first condition is true, your result is going to be true. So I doesn't want to check whether the second condition is true or false in case of logical connector R. Suppose if the case is false, you have to check the second condition. If the second condition is true, it will be true. If the second condition is false, it will be false. So here it depends on the second condition. If the first condition is false, here it depends on the second condition. But if the first condition is true, you can straight away declare that as true in the case of logical or. So the thing is, in case of, in case of logical and, if the first condition is false, you can straight away declare that as false in case of logical or if the first condition is true, you can straight away declare that as true. In all the other cases, you have to check all the conditions present inside the if block. Let me write that in a simple statement. If you are using logical and, and if first condition is false, declare entire result as false. If you are using logical or if first condition is true, 
I can declare the entire result as true. So in except in these two conditions, in remaining condition, you have to check all the conditions result and apply the truth table of logical and or logical or whatever applied there and calculate the entire result. But only in this case, you can calculate the entire result based on the first condition. So logical and if the first condition is false, everything is false. In logical or if the first condition is true, everything is true. So remember this when you are having multiple conditions when you are using along with if block. Next you are going to see if else. So far we have seen only if block. Now we are going to see if along with else. So the syntax goes like if condition or conditions whatever connected with logical connector colon you are having some particular statement followed by else colon and again you are having some statements. Again to represent start of an else you have to specify a proper spacing similarly to start of a if you have to specify the proper spacing. Let me see an example. For example, I am writing it like a is equal to 17. If a is greater than or equal to 0, colon, I am printing it as a is positive, else print a is negative. So now you, you might have understood what I have written. I am having a variable a with a value. I am checking whether it is greater than or equal to 0. If yes, it is positive. Else obviously it is less than 0, then it will be a negative number. So you can see here I have given if followed by a condition and colon and I have given a proper spacing for all the instructions inside the if block. Again when you are starting an else block, you have to start where you have started or if and then specify a colon and then give a proper spacing and then write the instruction that is present inside your else block. So this is how you have to write. Suppose if you want to write some instruction outside the if else block, you have to write it here print. It is outside if else. So again this has to be written in the same line as your if and else is written. So when I am executing this particular program, since a value is 17, 17 is greater than or equal to 0 is true. 17 is greater than 0, so it is true. It will get inside the if block. So it will print a is positive and it won't go to else block. So in if else case, when you are having a condition that is true, if block will get executed. When you are having a condition that is false, else block will get executed. So there will not be any programming scenario or situation where both your if and else block will get executed. Your el if, if your el if block is getting executed, else will be skipped. If your else block is getting executed, if will be skipped. There will be no programming scenario where both of your if block and else block will get executed. So in this case, since the condition is true, I am executing the if block and I am skipping the else block. I am skipping the else block and coming out of it and I am printing outside if else. So this is how you can write it. Let me take another example to explain it. So x value is 10, y value is 20 and I have to check which is greater, whether x is greater or y is greater. So I am writing if x is greater than y colon print x comma is greater than y else if it, obviously if x greater than y is false then obviously y will be greater than x so print y is greater than so in this case your output will be since 10 greater than 20 is false it will come here so in this case 
10 greater than 20 10 greater than 20 is false so if it will be skipped you will execute the else block so y value is 20 is greater than x value is 10 so it will print 20 is greater than 10 so this is how you can if and else you can use if and else and another important thing is that there should not be any statement between if block and else block suppose if you are having if block and you are having an else block else should not have any condition only if should have a condition else will be having some set of instructions there should not be any instruction over here between your if and else which means outside if and between if and else there should not be any instructions between if block and else block if there is an instruction that should either belong to if block or it should not be present there for example let me write a code for make you understand it for example a greater than 0 print i'm printing it as hi and here i'm printing um, hello and then in else block i'm printing bit so in this case you could see here there is one instruction inside if block and there is one instruction inside else block and this instruction doesn't belong to if because if you, if it if it belong to if you should have given a proper spacing and have written so this statement is outside the if block as per the uh, spacing so it is present between the if and else block it should it will not if you will get an error when you are having some instruction randomly present between your if block and between your else block so you should not have any instructions present between your if block and else block so your else block should immediately follow your if block that is what the case here so i repeat it when you are writing if else if the condition given is true if block will get executed else will get skipped if the condition given is false if block will get skipped and else will get executed and after that whatever instruction that is present after the if and else block that will get executed in a sequential manner without any problem suppose when you are having some instructions between your if block and else block you will get an error because it is a rule that your else block should follow the if block immediately there should not be any random instructions between your if block and else block so this is what the major case regarding using your if and else let us see the next one third category is if lf else which means when you are having multiple conditions to check for example if condition 1 and the statements elif condition 2 the statements elif condition 3 the statements followed by else the statements so this is what the syntax again you can see here um, or else will not have any conditions only if elif elif can have conditions if this condition is true it will get executed and remaining all blocks will get skipped if this condition is false it will go and check it here if this is false and if this is true this will get executed and remaining blocks will get skipped if this is false if this is false if I am coming here for the elif c3 if c3 is true remaining condition remaining blocks will get skipped and only this block will get executed let us see an example for this before that you could see else here else is optional else block is optional and remember wherever you are using else wherever it may be even in the previous case in if else or in the case of if elif else it else is optional and it should immediately follow immediately follow the elif block which means there should not be any instructions over here between the blocks there should not be any instructions between if and elif block between elif blocks and between your elif block and else block and also else is optional if you need else you can use it or else you can skip it for example i'm having three variables i have to check which is a greater one for that i can check if a greater than b 
and here I am introducing another concept if a greater than b I am checking if a greater than c I am printing a is greater which means it is nested if you can use if inside another if you can use if else block inside another if block or another else block or another else block wherever you want you can nest it but it should be with the proper arrangements like if you are having an else block each else block should have a pair of if block or elif block or whatever so you should write it with the proper syntax and other than that you can nest if blocks in any other if blocks or else blocks or elif blocks that is up to you the programmer and also the programming scenario whether it requires it or not so this is how we can write it so i am checking whether a greater than b if a is greater than b okay uh, among a and b a is greater and i have to check a with c so i am checking whether a and c are greater yes if a is greater and i am printing a is greater suppose if this condition is false a greater than b is false what it means is b is greater than a similarly if this condition is false what it means is c is greater than a okay let me clear it in another way what if a greater than b is true so a will be greater than b i am getting inside what if a greater than c is true so a is greater than b and also a is greater than c so i am printing a is greater suppose a is greater than b but a is less than c what is the meaning here is so in this case a is the winner so i am competing a with c in this case c is the winner so obviously among the three c will be greater so in this case i am nesting here as else print c is greater suppose if a greater than b itself is false which means a is smaller so a is out of the game i am going to check b and c so i am checking whether elif b greater than c if b is already a is out of the game so you are not going to worry about a because a greater than b is false so b is greater a is smaller so a is out of the game now only two members are in the game b and c so i am checking elif b greater than c if this is true i am going to print it print as b is greater suppose even this is false b greater than c is false already a is out of the game if b greater than c is false obviously c is greater so in this in that case i need an else statement so i am printing c is greater so this is the code to find greatest of three numbers let me check with these values okay let me check 11 greater than 12 11 greater than 12 is false so i am coming out of if block and coming here i am checking whether 12 greater than 13 12 greater than 13 is false so i am coming here i am printing c is greater so obviously among 11 12 and 13 the value that is stored in c is greater so the it will give you the result c is greater so this is how you can use if elif else block to find greatest of three numbers another important thing to remember here is you can use multiple conditions and else is optional you can have multiple elif block which means i can have one if block followed by n number of elif blocks and if you want else if you want else which means else is optional if you want else it should be placed at the end if elif 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 n number of elifs at the end you can write an else block so this is how you can write it so the thing is i can have i can have if block followed by many elif blocks many elif blocks what how many elif blocks you want you can have and at the end if you want it is optional again i'm repeating it is optional it is not mandatory you should end it with else if you want you can write else but it should be at the end so it should start with an if block followed by any number of elif blocks and at the end if you need you can end it with an else block so this is how you can write if block if else block if elif 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 and else so with that scenarios with that conditional statements you have to remember always that if should have a condition that should result in either true or false 
you can have multiple conditions or you can have single conditions if you are having multiple conditions in if block you have to use logical connectors logical connectors like and or not everything and if you are having multiple conditions we have seen in logical and if the first condition is false entire result is false in if in in logical or if the first condition is true the entire result is true you have to remember that in writing your program in remaining conditions you will be checking all the entire uh, multiple conditions present inside the if block and when you are writing else for if it should be present immediately after the if block use proper spacing for all the instructions in if block and else block and use colon at the end of the if statement and else statement don't forget that that represents start of the if block start at the start of the else block and then for one if block you can have only one else block it is not possible to have multiple uh, else block for one if block for example consider a scenario if you are having four else blocks it should immediately follow four if blocks you cannot write else block alone else should be always come with if block but you can have if block written alone without else block so these are all the conditions and also we have seen that that should not be any random instructions between your if block and else block similarly between your if else if else if else and else blocks so remember all these conditions when you are attempting to write a program with conditional statements using if else if else if else if else or if statement